Hi, my name's Rick, and this is my game MathJong, which is available on the Chrome Store or at the website www.mathjong.com. That's Mahjong spelled with a T in front of the H there. Got several requests for a quick how-to on this game. I also wrote the game Mahjong Words, which is also available on the Chrome Store. The idea of both of these games is basically that you create some form of expression. Mahjong Words, it's a word here. It's a mathematical expression that is a legitimate math expression. So for something simple, you might say 9 minus 7 equals 2. Now I hit Submit. I get a subtraction bonus based on that times the number of tiles you used. Scored 18 points there. The goal is to try and remove all of the tiles from this uh, board here. I have several other layouts you can play as well, but this is the basic one. And the more complicated your math expression, the higher your score will be. So uh, what I'm going to show you here is a more complicated one. I follow order of operations, so if this 9 divided by 3 were over here, you'd have to, you always do the multiplication and division first before you evaluate the addition and subtraction. Hit Submit. You see I get a pretty big bonus here, three functions, and then a bonus for using multiplication, division, subtraction functions. Uh, you can also do something simple by just saying like 7 equals 7. That works just fine. Or something like that. If you're just looking to clear tiles, you could do something like 4, 7, 8, 6 equals four, seven, eight, six. Now that won't get you a very high score because it's a pretty simple math function there. But sometimes if you're just looking to clear tiles, that works. Uh, if you're looking to say clear out a multiplication or division, those ones are always easy to have left over because if you have a zero, you actually need two zeros. So you might have to clear things out of the way to make this work. Just give me five numbers at random times zero equals zero and that clears out a large number. Not a real high scoring one, but you get the point. If you're just looking to clear tiles to solve the game, you can do that pretty easily by just picking simple expressions. So uh, I'm gonna go through, you still can't see any wild cards here, so I'm gonna clear some of this out so I could show you some of the wild cards. So I'm gonna pause the recording and uh, move a little bit farther into the game. Okay, we're nearing the end of this game, and uh, as you can see, I've got some wild cards here. There are wild numbers, which are the ends, and there's wild question, or sorry, wild functions, which are the question marks. Now, you can use a function as anything like a equals, multiplication, division, subtraction, addition. And, of course, the wild number is any number. I also put a lot of zeros towards the end of this just to make things easier to finish when you get here. So you can do things like one plus, is, uh, well, actually I don't want plus there, 1 times 0 plus 0 minus 0 equals 0. And let's say 9, actually we'll say 0 divided by 9 plus 0 equals 0. Then we can get rid of some of these guys too, I think. 0. So that wild there will be a stand-in for an equal sign. That works. Now, uh, one of the neat things is like 0, 0, 3 is the same thing as 3. So you could say 0, 0, 3 equals 3 if, like, say these were 3s instead of n's. But in this case, you could just say n. A couple n's. A wild symbol, which we'll use for an equal, and a couple more ends, and we finish the game. If you like it, please feel free to click this link down here and give me a five-star review. I'd appreciate that very much. Or, of course, send me some suggestions as to how to improve the game. Just scroll down. There's a link down there for some suggestions. Thanks for playing.